everybody doing tonight? Yeah. Yeah, you guys are good? Yeah. Late night crowd, you look good. Thank you for coming. You were here last night. You got uh, different girl, same girl? I'm fucking around. Right. She looks different, though. I'm playing. Like, oh, dude, stop playing, dog. The meetings are crazy. Shit. Woo. You guys feel great? Yeah? Uh, I feel good. I'm happy. This is going to be a great show. All right, all right. The headliner is a good friend of mine, very good friend of mine, uh, Hugh Moore, very funny guy, and uh, he asked me to do the show, and I was a bit nervous, I'll admit that, I was a bit nervous. I said, hey man, I haven't been on the road in a long time, man, I haven't performed for a while. He's like, oh, don't worry, just do the same set you did when you got that standing ovation at the last show we did. No pressure on you guys. <laughs> when I'm done. But what I'm going to do is the same exact joke. The reason why I say that is because I want to be honest and that these jokes are recycled, but they're funny. But I just want to be honest with that. Is that okay, guys? Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much. <laughs> Hello. Oh, shit. Here we go. <laughs> What's up, Chicago? Man, it's snowy outside. <laughs> Ladies, happy Valentine's Day. Also, Black History Month, this shit is crazy. I'm playing, I'm joking, I don't want to loosen you guys up. Is he gonna do his whole set about February? Shit. That first communion is weird. I feel happy, I'm great. You know why I feel good? I just turned 40 and I feel really good about that. I'm at that. You know what I was hoping for when I said that? I was hoping for either, oh my God, really? You're 40? You don't look 40. You look really good for 40. Apparently, I look like I'm 40, you motherfuckers. Black old friend. You ever throw a compliment out there, you just want it right back? Just, you, don't want to, you just want it to, hey man, I look tired today. No, you look good. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Women do that a lot. Women do that all the time. They do, they throw compliments at each other, wanting another one back. You've seen it. Oh my God, you are killing that dress. Thank you. Thank you. Your hair looks fantastic too, by the way. Okay. okay. <laughs> Compliment circle complete, you feel me? Feels good. No harm, no foul. Everybody's doing great. Guys don't do that, it's kind of weird. We, we never do that. It's a nice ass jacket. <laughs> Me? Yeah, that's a nice jacket you got. Are you gay? No, Dad, I'm not. I just wanted to say that was a nice jacket. You know, often... I feel good. I feel at like that age right now. I am at that age. If you're over 35 and you're close to 40 or 40 or above, you know what I'm saying. I'm at that age where I can say whatever the fuck I want. <laughs> See whatever the fuck I want with no repercussions. You know what the first thing I want to say is? Ladies, stop asking your husbands or boyfriends what they're thinking. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Guys, back me up. We never think of anything at all. Why the fuck do I keep asking us that shit? Why? Haven't you not known? What are you thinking? What's on your, what are you thinking about? Share with me, what's, what are you thinking? about? Tell me. What are you thinking about? We don't think of shit. You know what we think of? All the time. Titties. That's it. Yeah. All the time. I don't think a guy in this room has had an original thought since he was 15. There's nothing up there. Nothing. Nothing new. Stop asking. There's nothing there. We think of three things. Titties. What are we going to get to eat next? And we bookend it with titties again. That's all we do with titties. You feel me? about? What's, what are you, what's on your mind? Share with me, tell me. <laughs> tell me, what are you thinking about? Nothing, come on. <laughs> Titties, why would you say that? What kind of human being are you? Fucking ask me. You ask me. Don't make the mistake I made, by the way, don't do this. I sarcastically asked a girl, well, what are you thinking about? 
Shit, buckle up, fellas. Oh, it's about to get real after that. She's gonna tell you what the fuck she's thinking. Everything. Get ready for a trilogy out this bitch. You thought Lord of the Rings was long shit. Fuck, you you're still going, huh? Being sarcastic. Well, there's more shit. This bitch got a lot to say. Fuck. <laughs> you know what I realize? I, I realize that women think they know men and what we want. I'm sorry, all the women hate me. Fuck him. <laughs> fuck you. Women always think they know what men want. You do. You don't know what we want. You know why? Because you, you do things that we wouldn't want you to do or we don't care about doing. Like, um, taking showers. <laughs> Getting dressed. We don't give a fuck about all, any of those things. I got this new smell, good product, wanna smell? No. I don't give a fuck. I don't, I don't care. Why? Well, I, I don't care about cucumbers, what the fuck is wrong with you? Why? No, it smells like peaches and cu- it's, it's, you're stupid. It's peaches and cucumbers, motherfucker. You know the difference? We care about certain things. We don't care about certain things. We don't care about certain things. You know, you, you, know, you know what happened? I've never had a one night stand. Pause, there's time in my life. Chill. Never had a one night stand. Just never happened. It was going to happen. And a girl ruined it. Just ruined it. And I had one of those nights. I don't know if you ever had these nights, fellas, where your dick is like super hard. I mean like exceptionally hard. You ever have those nights where all the blood vessels just going right? It just feels good that night, don't it? Like really hard. Like you can put a towel, a wet towel on your dick hard and it can hold up. You feel me? That's a hard dick. You can put a Martha Stewart wet towel on your dick. That's a super hard dick. I've done that. Pretty strong penis is what I'm saying. It's a pretty strong penis. Confident that night? I felt good. I felt really good that night. It was about to go down. We get back to her place. I mean, clothes are flying off. Shit is popping up. I'm like, this is going to be awesome. This shit is nice. Kissing, then she stops. No, I can't do this. I'm like, ah, oh, I get it. All right. First time, you don't know me. I'm not a rapist, so I'm not gonna do this. But you really gotta explain to my dick what's going on here, cause it's got a mind of its own. I don't know what to say to it. She says, and I quote, I can't do this much. I haven't shaved, and my bra doesn't match my panties. <laughs> You hear what she said? I'm sorry, what the fuck you just said to me? Your bra doesn't match your panties? Has that deterred any guy in here ever? Like, we gonna be in the middle of it, like, this shit about to pop off right here. Good dick tonight. I'm sorry, give me a second. Um... Okay. Is that fuchsia and turquoise? Yeah? Let me explain something to you. You don't come to my mouth. I will not be disrespected, okay? I said yes. Under the pretense that you would match. This is bullshit. Where am I holy underwear at? I had some holy underwear around this bitch. I'm a classy man, bro, okay? You're not gonna just wear some. Really? You think we care about Thank you. You think we care about that shit? Does it match? Hey, I didn't fuck that girl last night. Why not? Her bra didn't match. You're okay, bro. Whoa, whoa. Fuck. She needs matching bra and panties. You think we care about what you care about? It's so cute. It's so cute. How come you don't show me that you love me? How come you don't show me? If you really love me, you would hug and cuddle with me. No, I just want to lay down. That's it. I just want to lay down. I don't want to be wrapped up with you all night. Wake up with a crank in my neck. That's how you want me to show you that I love you? By wrapping up myself with you all night? Really? You ever get a crank in your neck? It's the worst. Can't turn your neck. Somebody call you. Rich, but... What's up? Rich, listen, motherfucker. Stay in one place. Where you going? What the hell is going on here? Rich, just stop fucking calling me, man. 
Don't you see my damn... I love women. I do. I love them. Yeah, they're great. They try too hard. They're great. You know why you don't have to try anything, ladies? Let me tell you. Because you have vaginas. And we like those. A lot. Vagina, the other white meat. Too much? Too soon? Yeah, I don't care. Like I said, I'm 40. I don't give a fuck anymore. Say whatever I want. Say whatever the fuck I want. Word. Word. Don't you feel that way, though? When you get to a certain age, say whatever the fuck I want. I just feel that way now. My body hurts a lot, though. No one gave me a pamphlet on what it was like to be 40. No one snuck up and said, hey, you're gonna wake up with pains you didn't have. What? Where are you going? You know what I mean? You ever go to bed just perfectly fine, you wake up, body all fucked up? You can hurt yourself at 40 doing nothing at all. Nothing. I threw my back out the other day sneezing. I'm sorry, excuse me, what? You're supposed to sneeze and wind up in the emergency room. I tore my rotator cuff a couple of years ago. Tore this shit. A lot of athletes tear their rotator cuff. It's normal. I tore mine. I was sleeping. That's how I tore my shit. I was laying, snapping. Speaking of sleep, you know what I realized at this age? I would much rather. People can disagree or agree, man. I would much rather take a nap than fuck. I don't care. You can, I don't give a fuck. You can disagree with me, but that just goes to show you how much pussy I got in my life. I'd much rather take a nap at this age. Like if there was a bed right here, and Jennifer Lawrence right here, whoever you want to put there, I would have to make a decision. I'm like, shit. <sighs> That's a silly pasta pita, really? Is that what? It's craftmatic. Okay, they don't make those anymore. That's a, that's a throwback. Is that a 300 feather count? It is, huh? Shit. <laughs> There's a sandwich there too? Okay, you know what? If you're there when I get up, we can do the fucking... I'm gonna take this nap right here. I love napping. Ladies don't want to hear that. Ladies always think we want to fuck, we want to do this and that. Nah, sometimes we just want to do nothing. Sometimes we just want to chill. We don't always want to... Don't hate me. You have nice breasts. See, damn it! I'm gonna get titties again. I'm shit. My goodness. What are they doing later? What? What's going on here? I'm, I'm not kidding. You are beautiful. I heard you laughing and I look. You know what my problem is? I don't have a girlfriend. I haven't dated in a couple of years. I fall in love way too easy. That's what it is with me. I, I realize that I'm the problem. Rich, I'm the problem. I fall in love way too easy. I heard her laughing. I was like, she has a cute laugh. She might be. I fell in love like four times tonight. And I was like, she's fine, she's fine, he's okay, but what? What? Get back to that situation. She's fine. What's your name? This is not even, I didn't even plan this. Swear to God. Who put her up front? My favorite name in the entire world is Alyssa. Swear to God. I love that name. Anyway, where was I? Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, Alyssa. What's your favorite color? Red. Okay, now who put her up? Er That's my favorite color too. Do you like to breathe? Because I love to breathe. If you just simple shit. I love it. I love you. Lord, you are kind of sexy though. I didn't know that women lied. Yeah, y'all lie. I didn't know that. I was naive. I was very naive. I had a chick lie to me, and I didn't even know what hit me. You ever have somebody tell you some dumb shit? You're like, man, that's a good one. We were dating and I found out she was seeing someone else while we were dating. Grounds for breakup. I didn't fuck nobody. And I asked her, I said, hey, how come you didn't tell me you were seeing somebody else? Why didn't you tell me you were dating while we were together? Get ready. Get a pen and paper. She said this. I didn't tell you because you didn't ask me. Oh shit, this bitch is a genius. Give me a second, let me think about this. This is some general shit. If you minus the two, we'll ask them. Like, I'm supposed to come home every day. Hey, did you suck a dick today? I'll ask you because that'll be come on my face. I'm glad. 
<laughs> you almost got me again, touche, bitch. <laughs> Pulled me once, bitch. <laughs> she lied. <laughs> Come on, my Yes, I did say that, yes. I <laughs> echo back there. <laughs> The other thing I noticed about when I was getting older was, we always talk about this, when you lose your hair. When you lose your hair. I, I, have, a, I have a lot of hair, but I got to comb it to make it look like I'm not, because I'm losing it. I'm not, I'm not getting the Miguel shit yet, but I'm, it's getting there. I'm getting that little, like, it's this island shit up front. I wish I, I wish I could do what people like you can do, and you, you have straight hair. Nice. I like that. Because when you lose your hair, you can disguise it. You can do a fucking comb over. <laughs> you know what but if you don't know what comb over is, it's when you don't have hair on one side of your head and you pull it over to the other side, disguising the fact that you're missing hair. Oh, genius. What? Talk to me, friend. Brilliant, right? Cannot do, it as a, cannot do it with this hair. Curly hair. Black people here. Cannot do that. Because if I took hair from one side of my head and pulled it over to the other side, I would look like Frederick Douglass. Like, oh shit. Isn't that Frederick Douglass? <laughs> no, they all look like it. That's definitely Frederick Douglass. <laughs> Fucking Don King, one of the two. Look at this shit. If you don't know who Frederick Douglass is, if you're not laughing, Google it. You guys should know that shit. It's black history. I expect more from you black people. You know, it's of... He's colorblind too, shit. Fuck oh why? <clears throat> yes. <laughs> Did you want some special attention? Where at? Where at? What the shit is that? Can I go to your job and interrupt? Uh oh. That's a damn shit. Uh oh, excuse me. Fucker. I don't know who talking to. Why would you do that, bro? Easy, just enjoy the show, friend. I'm doing my job up here. Pausing, taking my time, not rushing. Ahem, <clears throat> keep it going. Bitch. Wrap it up. Really, my friend? Easy. I'll sit down for this one, shit. Ahem. <clears throat> you better keep the jokes going, shit. I paid good money. Why do all gay guys rub their thighs? It's so weird. I said, shit. What? What the fuck are you rubbing your thigh like that, friend? What the fuck are you doing? It's not rubbing your thighs! I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm hurt. I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm not. I'm He's from Idaho, man. Excuse him. That, that'll do it, yeah. No, not what he do. You having a good time out here in LA? Word? Already. Alright, that's good, man. Alright, alright, alright. We get the Matthew McConaughey reference. We know that you watched the Oscars. Stop it. <laughs> Can't take Idaho people nowhere. Can't take Idaho black people nowhere. This is how they act? Drinking? That's what it is. You're drinking, right? What are you drinking, my friend? Water. <laughs> is this how you behave? I don't get to see you drunk. Water, that's it, man. I'm naturally like this. This is me, man, all day. You're the most annoying friend. Guys! Guess who showed up to the party? Ta-da, bitches! Where's everybody going? Just naturally. You know? Now she's drunk. What the fuck? Why do I mindset? What's... You good? No, are you good? I'm good. She was like, no, you're good. It's, yeah, I'm good. You? Yeah? I'm from Idaho. What's, what's from your Idaho. name? <laughs> really? That's one of my favorite names. I'm sorry, Bob. Shit. I'm sorry. I'm giving you a hand in my house. I need shit. I stopped drinking. I quit drinking. Yeah, I had to. I had one of those nights. You know what I mean by one of those nights? You yeah, you know what I mean. You about, you about to have one right now, shit. It's really good. It's about to be one of those night stories. One of those nights, if you haven't drank and you got drunk in your life, one of those nights is when you got way too drunk 
you've had to ask other people what happened to you the night before. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? By the, what, depending on the story, by the way, depending on how the story is given to you the next day, you probably weren't that drunk. Like, if this is a long, elaborate story, like, hey, what happened last night? Oh my God, you were hilarious. <laughs> you stole candy from a baby, you stopped and smelled the roses, you had a book of cliches for some reason, it was weird. Just a lot of details, probably weren't that drunk. Or, what happened last night? Steve, you want to get this one? Yeah, uh, well, you, at first you... <laughs> you might want to move to Mexico. What? what the fuck did I do last night? What happened? Last night, someone filled me in. I'll tell you what happened to me. I got... First of all, tequila should not be served at all. This, you should never drink something on a Wednesday and wake up on a Sunday like, what the fuck happened in the last four days? You were there, and you were there, and Auntie May was there? You were all here. Like, you should never drink a drink and make you feel like you can move an inanim inanimate object. Never. When you drink tequila, you're fine by the first shot. Like, yo, we doing shots. Put your motherfucking glass in there. We doing shots, y'all. By the third shot, you're saying dumb shit. Like, you know what? I can lift that building up over there. <laughs> what? It's just a building. Like, it's never been... What the fuck you looking at, building, huh? Oh, fuck you up, building. Listen to me. If that's even your name, building. Real original for a building, isn't it, building? I told my friends when I said when I get drunk, just take my cell phone. Yeah. I was that guy. Just sending out dumb texts and tweets. Just really inappropriate. I'm gonna put my balls on your elbow. What? <laughs> Did you get a man's text from Rich about his balls on your elbow? <laughs> I'm gonna take my dick, I'm gonna wrap it around your eyelids. Wait a second now. <laughs> Is that what they're doing now? Wrapping dicks around eyelids? <laughs> the entire dick around, they can't do that. The next morning you wake up, mortified, a thousand missed calls, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta explain, send out a mass text. Ha ha, they still phones at that club, y'all. It's crazy. <laughs> My account was hacked, what? <laughs> There's always that one person you have to call and apologize to. Hey, what's going on, ma? <laughs> Nah, I was drinking last night. <laughs> Tequila, yeah. No, I don't want to put my balls in your elbow, Bob. That's weird that you're asking. Uh-huh. I didn't know that Dad did that to you. That's weird that you didn't mention that, though. It cannot fit around the eyelid, Mom. No, I'm sorry. No, she's, yeah. You and Dad invented that? It's gross. Isn't that gross, though? I, I always say that. I think people who have way too much... To, to discuss with their parents is kind of weird. Like I dated a girl, she's like, me and my mom are super close. We talk about everything. I'm like, everything? Because we did some nasty shit a couple of nights ago. You should Not everything. I wouldn't want to tell my mom everything. I'm nasty though. I'll show you. Listen, but I wouldn't want to tell. Yeah, mom, what's up? Yeah. She gagged on it a little bit at first. Yeah, you know how I get down. Well, I didn't I started out on that elbow, yeah. Thank you so much, guys. Enjoy the humor. Thank you.